Before we get into anything else, I want to refer to Davidson. I've got him down myself, sir. He's holding back money. Something like 600 short on that last haul, wasn't it? No, certainly as much as that, sir. Have him attended to. Cragen is the one to do it. See that his disappearance is noticed. So much for Davidson. Now, as to this Blaisdell matter, did you learn anything more? The whole thing was a trap, sir. Yeah? What do you mean? A trap, set and baited by an expert. But those letters and instructions, you brought them back or had them destroyed? I couldn't do it. Sir, Manning has disappeared and the papers are gone. That's bad for the Underwood trial. I thought Shackelsford was going to get a postponement. He tried to and found he was blocked. Who could have done it? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, again? And again, and again, <laughs> and again. <laughs> He's got hold of between 20 and 30 papers and instructions. And he's gradually completing chains of evidence which, if we let him go on, will reach to me as sure as the sun will rise. Reach to me. Mm. He's playing a rather dangerous game. That Inspector Wilson tried it seven years ago. Wilson is dead. Two years later, Henderson took it up. We haven't heard anything of Henderson lately, eh? Not a thing, sir. Oh. This Holmes is a rather talented man. But he doesn't realize what can happen between now and Monday. He doesn't know that there isn't a street in London that will be safe for him if I whisper his name to Cragen. A van may strike him as he crosses the street. A piece of timber may fall from a scaffold. A little push from an underground platform. Hmm. I might even pay him a little visit myself. Just for the satisfaction of it. Just for the satisfaction of it. If he declines to treat with me... Yes? Yes, Bassett. What name? Oh, Prince, he'll have to wait. Yes, I got his telegram last night that... Well, tell him to come to the phone. Yes, yes, I got your telegram last night, Prince, but I have a very important matter on. You'll have to wait. Who? What sort of game is it? Where is he now? All right, wait a moment. Sir. Yes, I know. Prince is on some job, and he's got Holmes fighting against him. Ask him what it is. Ask him what it is. No, wait. Let him come here. No one sees you, sir. No one knows you. That has meant safety for years. No one sees me now. You'll talk to him. I'll be listening. This is your office, you understand? Your office. I'll be up there. Prince, I find I can't come out, but I'll see you here. Who? What interest have they got? What name? Man and a woman named Larrabee says they won't consent to any interview unless they're present. Larrabee? Yes, I remember. Send them in. Prince, put John on the line. John, those two with Prince, do they look all right? Look close. Yes? All right, send them out through the warehouse and down the circular stairway and bring them here through the long tunnel. Yes. Here, and look them over as you go. See, they're not carrying anything. And watch that no one sees you come down, right? I don't like this, sir. I tell you, it means certain death unless we can settle with this man, Holmes. I can see lines drawing in upon us of which you have no conception, because the methods and the direction in which he has been working have suddenly become very clear to me. I must hear everything. But these people... You're wasting time. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. I'll hear them. I'll hear every word. Your office, you understand. Your office. Number? Are the three with you? Keep your eye on them. 
If you see anything suspicious, drop your pencil. <laughs> You don't get much daylight in here. We have no use for it. I suppose this is headquarters, eh? No, this hmm? is my private office. Oh? Yeah. Prince, from what little you gave me on the phone, it sounded as if you might have something interesting. We have got something interesting. Well, kindly let me have the particular. Jim and Madge Larry be here, which I knew from the early days, Madge and Jim. They picked up a girl in Amberg whose sister had a very strong affair of the art with a very high foreign knob who promised to marry her. But the family stepped in and threw the whole thing down. Now, he'd be a very bad to her, let himself out, but he'd written her letters and given her rings and tokens, you see, and there were photographs, too. Now, these wouldn't look at all nice, considering who he is and the high title he's coming into. So when the girl up and dies, the letters and things fall into the hands of the sister, who's the girls, my friend, Jim and Madge, uh, have been nursing along. Where? At number eight, Norrington Road, where we'd be out of the way. How long have you been there? Two years, the 14th of next month. And these letters, when do they reach their full value? It's now, don't you see? It's now. There's a marriage coming on. There's been offers. The problem is to get the papers into our hands. Where are they? The girls got hold of them. We had a safe for her to keep them in, supposing that when the time came, we could open it. But the lock was out of order, so we had prints in last night to help, and the things were gone. She'd taken them out herself. And I'd no sooner got the box open, but who rings the doorbell but Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes? At your house? At my house. He didn't get those letters? He did, but he passed them back to the Faulkner girl. Passed them back? What does that mean? Who knows? And there's another thing that puzzles me. There was an accident below in the kitchen. A lamp fell off the table and scattered burning oil about. The butler came running up yelling fire. We ran down and a few buckets of water put it right out. The first thing to do is to get rid of your butler. Not discharge him, get rid of him. Craig in for that today as soon as it's dark. Mr. Larrabee will send the butler to the cellar for something. They'll be ready for him there. Dalton's van will get the body to the river. It need not inconvenience you at all, madam. We do these things quietly. What's the setter doing? He's on the Reading job tomorrow night. Put him with Craig in today to help with that butler. And there's something else we'll want. Have you seen those letters, photographs, whatever? Do you know what they're like? I have, sir. I've read through them carefully several times. Ah, oh, well. Do you think you could make me a counterfeit set of those things and tie them up so that they will look precisely like the packet Sherlock Holmes held in his hand last night? I could manage the letters. If you can manage those, I'll send someone who can do the rest. Basic. That old German artist. Lüfner? Precisely, Lüfner. Send Lüfner to Mrs. Larrabee at 11. It is now quarter past 10. That gives you 45 minutes to reach home. I shall want the counterfeit packet at 11 tonight. 12 hours to make it. It will be ready, sir. Good. Basic, notify the last car that I may require the gas chamber at Stepney tonight. The gas chamber? Yes. The one that backs over the river. Have Craig in there at a quarter to twelve with the others. Mr. Larrabee, I shall want you to write a letter to Mr. Sherlock Holmes, which I shall dictate. And tonight, I may require a little assistance from you both. Meet me here at eleven. This is all very well, sir, but you've said nothing about the financial arrangements. I'm not sure. You have no choice. No choice? <laughs> no choice. No choice. No choice. I do as I please, and it pleases me to take hold of this case. Well, what about pleasing me? I am not so sure, but I shall be able to do that as well. I shall obtain the original letters from the girl and negotiate them for much more than you possibly could. In addition, you shall have an opportunity to sell the counterfeit set to Holmes for a good round sum. And the money obtained from both these sources shall be divided between us as follows. You will take 100% and I nothing. Nothing? Nothing. We can't negotiate for the letter, sir, until we know who they incriminate. Mr. Larrabee has not yet informed us. Mr. Larrabee is wise in exercising caution, Basic. He values the keystone to his arch. But he will consent to let me know 
Professor Moriarty. That information we would prefer to give only to you. Write the name on that card. This is an absolute certainty? Absolute. It means you have a fortune. Had I known this, you would hardly have had such terms. Oh, well, we don't object. The arrangement is made, Mr. Latterby. I bid you good morning. <laughs> Madam, do not fail me with the counterfeit. Vasek, place your men at nine tonight for Sherlock Holmes' house in Baker Street. You will still go there yourself, sir? I will. But this meeting tonight at midnight to trap Holmes at the gas chamber in Stephanie at Swandham Lane. I will try him myself in Baker Street. In case of a slip, we'll trap him tonight in Swandham Lane. Either way, I have him, Vasek. I have him. <laughs> <laughs> 